pelvic fracture overview anatomy you find here the SI joint the ischium pubic bone symphysis pubis ilium sacrum and the strong sacroiliac ligaments the sacroiliac joint have posterior ligaments that is very strong and the stability of the pelvis depend on the integrity of the posterior weight-bearing sacroiliac joint complex and transfer of the weight from the spine to the lower extremity occur through that joint. The pelvis is a ring. When a force occurs, it will injure the ring in the front and the back. The anterior injury and the posterior injury. The anterior injury is usually obvious, will be noted on radiograph, and usually associated with a posterior injury or a fracture. The posterior injury could be occult. Always look at the back of the pelvis. Unstable pelvis will have a gap or comminution. The posterior fracture is serious. We need significant blood transfusion. We need surgery and the outcome will be unpredictable. That posterior fracture is a serious injury that will lead to instability of the pelvis and a lot of bleeding. This bony instability, if it is not corrected surgically, it can cause late deformity, limb length discrepancy, and pain. Types of pelvic fractures. There are three types. Anteroposterior type, lateral compression type, and the bad vertical shear type. The first type is the anteroposterior compression type. You can have that with a pubic rami fracture, as you can see here in the slide. Or you can have it as an open book type. When the symphysis pubis opens up, we call it symphysis pubis diastasis. Treatment. Close the book. Pelvic binder or a sling. Surgery if the symphysis pubis diastasis is more than 2.5 cm. The surgery can be done through an external flexor or a plate. This is an example of external flexor of the pelvis. This is an example of anterior plate. You can see here at the incision. After you reach the bone, you will try to reduce the disruption of the symphysis pubis. Then you fix the symphysis pubis with the plate. The lateral compression type, it is the most common type of fracture and is usually impacted and not displaced. It has a good prognosis, usually doesn't require surgical fixation. The third type is the vertical shear fracture. It is a bad fracture. It needs surgery anteriorly and posteriorly. It needs blood transfusion, extensive blood transfusion. Outcome is guarded. Initial external flexor may be needed to control the bleeding. You probably will use traction in the emergency room, which will reduce the vertical displacement and decrease the motion at the fracture site. You may also use a pelvic binder in the emergency room. Vertical shear fracture are stabilized surgically by anterior stabilization using plates. Reduction of the symphysis pubis is done before fixation. And here is the anterior fixation. Usually this fracture will need to be fixed posteriorly. We usually use posterior screw fixation.
You can see a CT scan that shows the posterior screw fixation. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.